Hello guys, very welcome to my channel. Today I am going to do one palette, two looks with the Ready Set Summer Palette from Max Up The Makeup. Uh, Max Up The Makeup was one of the brands I wanted to try in 2020 and now I have this palette and I also bought the we uh, Sweater Weather palette, uh, but I'm going to do looks with this one now. This one I have been eyeing for such a long time. I know it's not summer right now, but look at this. Don't you want it to be summer when you see this? And look at the inside. This was why I was obsessed with this. Look at this color story. This is just amazing. I realized when I got this why I actually love this color story that much. Because this reminds me of two palettes. So I will show you. This reminds me of the Sulu palette from Juvie's Place. Look at that. And I will give you the Max Up The Makeup palette next to it. Can you see? Oh my God, <laughs> quite a big difference when it comes to sizes, but look at the color story. Oh my God, I'm worst. <laughs> you have like the shimmery blue, the shimmery green, a yellow, a orange, uh, you have a purple. Yeah, um, so I really thought this was very similar, but yeah not 100% <laughs> dupe or what do you say and then I thought about the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade palette I just have the pens here but I really love this as well and if you just take a look you have this green right here is very similar to the green in this one you have a yellow matte and orange in this one as well in this one and then you know the beige color you know the this color is very similar to the one in this one <laughs> but enough talk about that I really love this one I mean spoiler alert I love it this is 25 US dollars max up the makeup is an indie brand a US indie brand so it was not cheap to get it here but they had a sale and I know they have a sale right now when I'm filming this I'm not sure if that is um, when you see it but this is so small and beautiful. I love small packaging. I mean, you can have this in your purse. It's a very lightweight. It's a cardboard package. You have a mirror. Actually, I love to have mirrors right now because I actually use them now. Before I didn't care about mirrors, but in palettes, but now I actually do. And the color story is just so, so nice. I love these shimmers like this beautiful green yellowish gold and this blue and you have my favorite mattes <laughs> you have yellow orange purple red not this one though but <laughs> and a very very dark blue a very very dark color that you can deepen up looks in my first look i had a little problem with this one when i was deepening up the look it was a little bit patchy i don't know if that's because this one is so so dark and it's very very hard to blend uh, into other shadows but i have it on today and it blended like a dream so i just packed it on and blended it out and i think it looks really really nice so yeah i'm gonna play with this more i have played with this off camera so i can definitely say i love it I love it so, so, so much. I get so inspired by this color story. I feel happy. I, I'm so happy I actually bought it. And I'm gonna give you some swatches. So let's go into some swatches. Now you've seen the swatches, now you're gonna see two looks. This is look number two, but let's go into look number one. So now for the first look with the Red Is It Summer palette. I wanted to do something with the yellow and the warm tones in this one. So I thought I will do something with these colors right here. So all these mattes and this yellow. So I think I'm going to start with the darker shade. So I'm going to take this bikini and I'm going to place it in my very outer part and try to place it in the crease and then we're going to blend it out. And I'm going to cut the crease later on so 
I'm doing this while I have my eyes open so I can see this shade when I have my eyes open because I want this to show when I when I have cut the lid if you know what I mean these are very pigmented and they are very easy to blend so I'm just gonna do like that now I'm gonna take this bright red, this heat wave, and I'm going to take a small fluffy brush. Can you see that pigment? And I'm gonna place it like in top of this. That red is intense. Uh, in top of this plummy purple shade, and I'm just gonna make it more red. These are really cool colors super intense and I really like this color scheme and on the same brush I'm just gonna clean it in between and then we're going in with this reef so this is a uh, like an orange but it feels like it's a terracotta orange so it's more muted but I'm gonna like blend out the edges with that one and now again with the same brush I'm gonna take this lemonade and this is the yellow matte and do exactly the same so I'm gonna blend out the edges of the orange And on the same brush, I'm going to take that red again and then this one again just to intensify those colors. Maybe I'm going to take this coast and this is a matte blue and I'm just picking it here in the very outer part just to have a little more dark in the outer V. So I'm just placing it a little bit and then I'm going to take the, the bikini color again. It's a little bit harder with this blue shade to blend in. Maybe it's because we are layering it, but I think I think it's gonna look good when we cut the crease. But I can really feel I have a little hard time with that one. But maybe it will come together in the end. I really love the colors together. So I think I'm gonna cut the crease now. I have done this before, so I will do it off camera and I'll be right. So now I'm back, I've cut the lid and as you can see, the purple looks way smoother now when we have cut the lid and, and maybe that's why, I don't know, but it actually looks better. Uh, but now we're going in with this sun kissed. So this is like a yellow, little bit of gold maybe, a shimmer and I'm gonna put that on the lid, but I don't know if I need to spray it because now we actually have like a tacky base so I think this will be enough we'll see this is stunning I actually have been enjoying this brush so this is from Cleone and Cosmetics the stained glass collection uh, and I got it in this try box and I really think it's a great brush to um, put your shimmers on your lid kind of brush. I really like it. I think this is very intense and beautiful without spring and I don't have any fallout. So 
or maybe I have, <laughs> maybe I have it right now. Uh, I think I'm gonna spray it just because the fallout. So I'm gonna spray it. This is a beautiful color. Really stunning. And when they meet over here, I think I'm gonna take this bikini color and just try to blend these a little bit together because purple and yellow is very beautiful together. So I'm just gonna tap it where they meet and drag it a little bit. I'm just going in with a small brush as well and just define this cut crease line with this bikini color, <laughs> this purple. I really love how this looks. Now I'm gonna do a little lash line and I think I'm gonna go with the same color. So I want the yellow to be like one third of my under eye, like under here. And then we're gonna take all these colors I already used. So I think we're gonna start off with, maybe I'm gonna start off with this reef. So I'm not taking the darkest and I'm not taking the lightest shade. I'm just taking this middle shade because sometimes I think that's easier to do that because then you are sure of not getting the if you take the darkest maybe you can have a problem with maybe it goes too far down and if you start out with the like the yellow and start to smoke it out it can easily get too much as well I like to have the control when I have the middle shade first that's just me but I'm just taking my small fluffy brush into the lemonade palette and we're gonna smoke this out a little bit here just to make it more yellow This is almost like a sunrise look or sun sunset. I don't know if it's sunset or sunrise. Anyways, it's it doesn't matter because it's kind of the same thing, but I'm gonna take a flat brush and I'm going to take this bikini shade, this one again, and just put it closest to my lower lash line. Something like that. I am going to just dip into this. This red is crazy. Like, I don't know if you can see the red on this brush, but <laughs> I love like a very intense red. And yeah, if you have this palette or if you want like intense red, <laughs> I can definitely recommend you to get this one. Um, let's just Take a very, very small brush. I'm gonna dip into this sun kiss now. And I'm going to spray my brush because I don't want any fallout. And we're gonna place it, as I said, just one third. And, oh, in my inner corner, not in my eye though, <laughs> like I did right now. Ooh. I think this is stunning. So yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with the, how this looks now. I think I'm, I'm done with the look. I'm just trying to decide what to have in my waterline and so on. I think I'm gonna take my Linda Halleberg uh, Mood Crayon in Happy Mood, the yellow one, and I'm gonna put a liner, mascara, lashes, and I'll be right back. Uh, and maybe I've done my lips then. So I'll be right back. So now I'm back and here comes your close-up. And as 
also said I put something in my waterline. I put the uh, Mood Crayon from Linda Halbay, as I told you. And I put something on my lips as well. Uh, I love this. This is new. This is from Sephora. This are the lip stories they have. And this is in the shade Adventuring. Look at that. This is a beautiful color. These are so creamy and good. So this is more like a pumpkin... Um, orange I would say and I put some lashes as well I really love this these are the Aylor fluttery lights in number 117 this is how the packaging looks and they are a little bit longer here in the outer part and I really like that that looks good with my eye shape I think so yeah this was a uh, look number one with this palette so uh, let's go into look number two now I'm going to do the second look with the Red Set Summer Palette and I want to use all the colors with these two looks. So I'm going to use this coast today. I'm going to use this, this board shorts and I'm going to use this surf and I just want to use this as well. Uh, but I'm going to start out with this coast. And I'm going to start out in the outer part and then blend this into the crease. This is a really dark like navy blue and I really, really like it. You can really build it up as you can see. You just put, we're just layering it and I'm going to start to fill in this. It actually is very, very easy to blend. It's very dark, but when you blend it, it blends out pretty good and it gets this really nice, a little more lighter blue, as you can see. Very pretty. I'm just packing on some more. And blend. I thought I wanted the, you know, the beige color, this one, maybe to blend it out a little bit, but I don't know if I want that now. But maybe I'm just going to try it in the inner part just to see how that color looks like, because as I said, I wanted to use every color in this palette for these one palette two looks, so... So I think something like this, maybe I should just try the, the sand dollar, this one, just to see how it looks. Well, yeah, I don't think I will uh, put this on, but this is just a very light color. It's like my skin tone, so... I'm not going to use that today though. So now we're going in with some shimmer on the lid and I want to take two shimmers. I want to start with this surf, this blue aqua blue color and then this beautiful green. So I'm going to put the green like in my inner part of my lid and the blue in the outer part and then maybe I'm going to take this sun kiss like in a corner highlight. But we're going to start with the shimmer and I'm going to spray it. This is stunning. I'm just tapping it here in the outer part. Now I'm taking the green one and I'm going to pop it here in the inner part of my lid. These shimmers are very easy to work with. But you really want to spray your brush because it is a little bit of fallout, so be aware of that. 
this is so so beautiful and now i'm going to do the little lash line i'm going to take a small small tiny tiny small brush tiny small uh i'm gonna take this coast again the matte blue i'm gonna run it underneath very close to my little lash line This is a beautiful matte blue. I really like it. Then I'm going to take the blue again on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to deepen up the outer part again. And on a very small brush, I'm going in with this board shorts again, this green one. I'm going to spray my brush and I'm going to pop it in the inner part of my little lash line. Just like so. Enough of the inner corner. I want to take the yellow one, as I said, this sun kiss, and I'm going to spray that as well and pop it in the inner corner. I think this is a beautiful shadow or shade. So guys, something like this. I'm very happy how this looks. So I'm just gonna pop something in my waterline, some lashes, some mascara, liner, and all that, and I'll be right back. So guys, now I'm back and here's the finished look. I put something in my waterline. I put the LA Girl Shockwave Nail Liner in the shade Fresh. Um, as you can see, it's very turquoise color and I think that looks good. And on my lips, I put this Lux uh, Bullet Lipstick from Colourpop. This is in the shade Scorpion Moon. Uh, it leans towards a little purple and I really like it. So guys, I will give you your close-up. Yeah, this was the two looks guys. I really, really love the two looks I did and I'm very happy I used almost every color in this palette and I really, really love this palette I will tell you that and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to do that it's just clicking on the subscribe button down below click on the notification bell then you will be updated when I upload a new video and I upload on Monday Wednesdays and Fridays and I really hope I see you in my next video take care guys bye